So you're thinking about moving to North Georgia. Well, in this video, I'm gonna give you some pros and cons from someone who's lived in North Georgia since 1999. I also am very familiar with most of the small towns in North Georgia from selling real estate, so I hope you enjoy this video. My name is Tim Gibson and my channel is all about helping you move to North Georgia. I'm also a licensed real estate agent in Georgia and if there are any questions you have that I haven't addressed in my channel, please feel free to reach out and I would personally love to help you. Without further ado, let's look into some of the pros and cons of living in North Georgia. The first pro I wanna talk about is the proximity to Atlanta, Georgia. Most of the North Georgia towns are within 45 minutes to about an hour and a half to Atlanta. And Atlanta is the capital of Georgia, also the largest city, and the population is somewhere around six million people. Atlanta is also home to the world's busiest airport and Hartsfield-Jackson Airport, which is just south of town. Atlanta also is home to numerous Fortune 500 companies. A couple of them come to mind. One is Coca-Cola, UPS, and Delta. Those are some, and even Home Depot as well. So lots of industry going on in Atlanta, lots of good jobs around the area as well. Atlanta also has a lot to offer from a sporting perspective. If you're a sports fan, the Atlanta Braves just won the uh, World Series in 2021, go Braves. And uh, the Atlanta Falcons are in town, the Atlanta Hawks. There's lots of, uh, lots of great sporting events to be at all year round in Atlanta. If you're a music fan, you can also uh, get to a lot of good concerts. Most major tours come through Atlanta, somewhere on the suburbs or even in town. So you can get, if you live in North Georgia, you can get in pretty quickly to see some of those concerts. Another pro I'd love to talk about uh, in North Georgia is Southern hospitality. And if you live somewhere else in the country, you may have heard of it, but you don't quite know what it is. I'll give you a quick example. I have a friend in Dawsonville who owns a coffee shop. His name is Doug. And every single person that walks in the coffee shop, he somehow remembers their name and greets each customer that comes in by their first name. It's crazy, but that's just a good example of Southern hospitality. North Georgia con, I would say, is traffic. Now, North Georgia itself doesn't have traffic, but getting to North Georgia from Atlanta, you're gonna experience some traffic. There's not a lot of infrastructure as you get further and further away from Atlanta. So yeah, you will experience some traffic, but once you get past it, you know, it's not that bad. One of my favorite pros of North Georgia is the outdoors. You will have your pick of things to do in the outdoors. If you like to go rock climbing, if you wanna go hiking, if you wanna get on the river, if you want to go on the lake in your boat, you wanna go skiing, you wanna go wake surfing, uh, there's literally something for everyone. There's state parks, um, I would say, at least off the top of my head, I could think of probably five or six state parks in North Georgia with beautiful views. Um, you can also get to the largest mountain in Georgia, the tallest mountain in Georgia is Brasstown Bald. I'd say it's maybe an hour, hour and a half from Atlanta. Really great place to visit. Views are incredible up there. Yeah, for example, I uh, love to go hiking. So my family and I live in Dahlonega, Georgia, and the Appalachian Trail, actually the southern terminus of the Appalachian Trail, starts in Dawsonville, Georgia, and it goes the 1600 and whatever miles all the way up to Maine. But there's 70 or 80 miles in Georgia that are uh, on the Appalachian Trail. So you can easily get there in 30, 45 minutes, uh, depending on where you're coming from get to go hiking and see some of the most amazing views up there. Blood Mountain is the highest point on the Appalachian Trail in Georgia. So a fun place to go visit as well. Also, I do love to spend time trout fishing. There's lots of great trout streams in North Georgia. You've got the Tacoa River, you've got Dukes Creek, you've got Dix Creek, you've got all kinds of great places to go and find some good trout out there. I also love to go on Lake Lanier. My family and I spend some time tubing and water skiing and wake surfing on uh, Lake Lanier. Also, Lake Lanier has world-class spotted bass fishing. There's striped bass. There's all kinds of great fishing on Lake Lanier as well. And it's huge. You, you can fish for days and still not fish every spot on Lake Lanier. Another pro I love about North Georgia is that each small town is its own unique, cool little place. And each one has some very cool things to offer. Uh, for example, LJ Georgia is known for all of the apple farms around, the big apple harvest that happens in the fall. And each farm has their own sort of activity. Some of them have petting zoos, some of them have big stores where you can go in and buy the apple cider and the, all kinds of 
Apple related foods, everything you could ever want Apple related. You can get there, apple pies and all that stuff. So it's a really, really fun area to visit in the fall. There's also a place called Burt's Pumpkin Patch up in Dawsonville and they have a huge pumpkin harvest in the fall. So if you wanna go get your Halloween pumpkins, that's a great place to go visit as well. It's a massive pumpkin farm there in Dawsonville, Georgia. Another small town in North Georgia is Dahlonega, Georgia, which is known as like the gold city. Another fun fact about Dahlonega is the gold that's on the state capitol in Atlanta, on the dome in the state capitol actually came from Dahlonega. And I believe it was the first site of the first US gold rush, which is kind of interesting. Dahlonega is also known for its wineries. Lots of great wineries around the area. You can go visit, do a tasting. A lot of them have good restaurants, so definitely go check those out. I've listed a few of the small towns in North Georgia with some of the unique things they have to offer, but each one, there's so many more that I couldn't really fit into this video, but they all bring their own flavor and fun to North Georgia. North Georgia also offers a lot of great events. A lot of them happen in the spring and fall and around the holidays. Uh, specifically, Dahlonega offers the Bear on the Square, which is an event that commemorates a time whenever a bear actually got loose in the square in Dahlonega. Funny story, but it's a great event. And uh, also, Gold Rush is the big festival in the fall in Dahlonega. Where there's lots of vendors, lots of good stuff, fun stuff to do. It's almost like a, a fair. It's a great place to hang out in uh, the fall. Another big event in the fall in North Georgia is Oktoberfest in Helen. Helen, Georgia is a small town in the mountains just outside of Cleveland. It's a Bavarian inspired town. It looks kind of like a, a small German town in the Bavarian Alps. And uh, it's a cool little place, but they have Oktoberfests and it's a, it's a, it's a blast during, during October, of course. Dawsonville, Georgia also has the Moonshine Festival, which is a fun place. Music, lots of music and good stuff to do. So one of the cons of living in North Georgia, of course, is that it's rural. Even though you do have some proximity, you're pretty close to Atlanta. Once you get about 50, 60 minutes outside of Atlanta, it gets pretty rural. So if you're expecting to have a Target and a Starbucks on every corner, probably not gonna get that once you get past a certain point. But if you're looking for fun local coffee shops, local mom and pop shops, you know, local restaurants, then North Georgia is definitely your place. Another con of living in North Georgia, I would say is, is the summertime. So summertime in Georgia can get very hot. There's also a lot of humidity, especially late July, August, it gets pretty, pretty nasty. But I grew up in Florida. So it, basically where I grew up in Florida, it was either really hot or kind of hot. So that, those were our seasons. I guess one of the pros would be that you do have an actual four seasons in Georgia. You get a, a real spring, a real winter, a real summer, a real fall. So it's a good it's a good place to live. You can kind of endure some of those extremes in the summertime. And along with those hot summers, you get my arch nemesis, mosquitoes. For some reason, mosquitoes, if I walk out the door, there's a thousand mosquitoes biting me. And some of you are also like that. I don't know if it has something to do with your blood type or not, but uh, just expect to, to bring a lot of bug spray with you in the summertime just to kind of combat those mosquitoes and keep them away. In Georgia in the wintertime, especially North Georgia, you will get snow a couple of times a year. The jokes are real and it's all true. We have no idea what to do whenever it snows. Uh, if you remember in the news, there was an event called Snowpocalypse from a few years ago. That's when basically from Atlanta North, everything shut down for days and it was like insane. So that's a real thing. We have no idea what to do when it snows and we don't know how to drive when it snows. So just be prepared to, to not go anywhere for a couple of days if it snows. On the positive side, it'll probably melt in a couple of days and within two days of it snowing, it'll probably be 75 degrees and sunny outside. Also in the winter time, it'll get a little dreary, especially in January and February. You know, you get the, uh, you know, you're coming down off of the holidays and the high of being in the holidays. And, uh, you know, it, it'll get a little dreary. So it, it'll rain a lot in January, February, and it gets kind of cloudy for days at a time. So if you can handle that, that's cool. Just be prepared for some of those dreary days in that, uh, in that late winter time. But on a positive note, the weather is fantastic in the spring, especially the early spring and in the fall. There's relatively low humidity both times. And there's also really great weather, super sunny skies, 
in the spring you can expect you know 60 70 degree weather and and no humidity which is amazing especially after those rough winter months one of my favorite pros about living in north georgia is that it's relatively affordable to live here and purchase a home compared to other parts of the country if you're coming from somewhere like southern california you know somewhere in the northeast near seattle portland you know chicago uh, in the northeast you can get a lot of house for a relatively small amount of money compared to what you'd be paying in some of those areas. So if you're thinking about moving to North Georgia, please give me a call, send me an email. My contact information is right here on the video. I would love to help or just drop me a comment in the comment section. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks, I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully we'll see you next time.